Hi everyone, this video is about .NET Hot Reload. Here we will learn what is .NET Hot Reload, what current problem it solves, and how to enable it in Visual Studio 2022, how we can modify and test our .NET application while running with practical example. So let's start. What is .NET Hot Reload and how to enable it in Visual Studio 2022? As a .NET developer, you may be having a question why I need to always start without debugging like Control f5 or play button to run my .NET application. Why I cannot modify and test my .NET application while running? To answer this, it is possible with .NET Hot Reload. Let's see how to enable .NET Hot Reload by creating sample web application project in 2022. Open your Visual Studio 2022. Go and create a new project. Create Web API. Here I have selected ASP.NET Core Web API. Make sure you select .NET 6 as a framework. If you want to know how to enable hot reload for .NET 5 and in Visual Studio 2019, please put in the comment. I'll create a separate video on that. So let's continue. You select .NET 6 as a framework, create a project and run your application. Yeah, application is running. So here, if you change anything in your controller, let's create one more route in the controller. Rename it to weather forecast test. But to see these changes, you need to stop this application and again rerun the application. So we won't see the changes until we'll stop and rerun the application. So let's stop and rerun your application to see these new rod changes. Now you can see the new rod changes. But as a .NET developer, you don't want to stop and rerun your application again and again whenever you do the changes. So to do so, we need to use hot reload. Let's see how to enable and run your application using hot reload. Go to tools option under debugger. Select the option as a dot net hot reload. By default, this check two checkbox will be checked. If you want to save run the hot hot reload on the file save, check this box also. Click on OK. Now run your application using dot net watch using command prompt. Click enter. This will load your application. You can see this application got loaded. Now go and modify something. Like I'll just change the route name hot hot reload. Let me bring the changes side by side. Open the browser. Now save the file, you will see the changes here. Can you see the changes? So what happening behind the change? As soon as we change the file, hot reload get success and it reload the page. There is another way to run the hot reload if you don't want to run from the command prompt. Go to Visual Studio and click on Ctrl F5 or start without debugging. But before that, close all the instance of the command prompt. Start without debugging. So it got loaded. And if once again, if you bring the things together, you will see the changes. Save the file. It got changed. If you want to restart your application, there is a, another option is from here. You can restart your application. So in conclusion with .NET Hot Reload, you can run your .NET application without pressing the play button or Control F5. And you can modify and test your .NET 6 application while running. With .NET Hot Reload, your work will be auto-compile and load. And .NET Hot Reload works with ASP.NET Core Apps, WPF, Windows Form, .NET Multi-Platform App UI, Console Application, and any existing and the new project which develop using Visual Studio 2022 with .NET Framework 6. Let's take this as a challenge or homework and play around with .NET Hot Reload. Create ASP.NET Core application using Visual Studio 2026 using .NET 6. 
Enable the required setting for hot reload. Do not press Ctrl F5 or play button and run the application from the command prompt using .NET Watch. Modify something and watch the changes. Thanks for watching. If you have any question related to .NET or what you want to learn next, please put in the comment. Please like and subscribe for the next topic. Thank you.